Good morning. Good evening. Or good afternoon, whatever. Uh, hey, Vass. Hey, Crazy Pants. Uh, yeah, it is. It's going to be new games most of the week. Except, except Wednesday. Wednesday is still Pokemon. Oh, and I guess Tuesday is Genshin Impact, but uh, not new to me. It will be new to being on the stream. For sure. For sure. Um, okay, so I am super excited to start this game. Uh, it's been on my backlog for a really long time. Vass, I'm really curious about it too. Uh, it's made by a group called Subset Games, and they also made uh, Faster Than Light. Oh, actually, it's called FTL colon Faster Than Light. Um, and that was incredibly well received, and so was this one. Uh, this game got lots of 9s out of 10, a few 10 out of 10s. Um, so yeah. So we'll give it a try. It's a uh, tactical game. Turn based combat. And you control uh you control giant mechs apparently. Let's see what we got. And I have no audio. That's cool. That's cool. Hmm. Alright, well, I can see OBS has audio. Interesting. Interesting. One moment. One moment. What's your deal, voice meter? Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. Well, I missed uh, a few lines of opening information. Hopefully it wasn't important. Okay, so I don't get any actual choices here, I don't think. Oh, no, I do. I can change my time traveler. Cool. So the... Oh. Okay. So clearly whatever the breaches we go into involves time travel. Uh, I guess our only option right now is Ralph Carlson. He gets two bonus experience per kill. Okay. Oh, I could change his name. Ooh, I don't know if I want to do that. And I can change the mech that they start with. Ah, uh, it's between these three. Okay, I have no idea which one does what. So, the default one is a combat mech. And then there's a cannon mech. And an artillery mech. The mech's class determines which weapons it can use without a power penalty. Okay. Okay. Okay, they have health and movement stats. All right. So it looks like the artillery mech has a little bit less health. But it seems like it's ranged. Interesting, I wonder what brute means. Just like big, strong attacks. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I don't know what to what to change or why I would change it, so... Oh, hold on. Oh, well, dang. They could have at least given me a color option. Fine. All right. All right. Uh, I, I guess we'll just do normal. Advanced content. Ooh. Cool. Okay, I do not have a good grasp of the core game, so we're not going to check any of those. All right. Let's see what we got. This timeline will be a vet graveyard. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess we only have one place we can go. Cool little maps. Archive Inc. This museum island recreates old Earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. Oh, oh boy. The CEO is Dewey Alms. The environment is temperate. And then we get a little scan of all the enemies that are there. Uh, that won't really help me. As well as, I assume the leader is like the boss. Okay, well, I don't know uh, what any of these things are, so. <clears throat> Archive Inc. Head Office. We're doing all we can to protect the refugees, but we need your help against the Vec. We'll assist with some of our old Earth artifacts if we can. Okay. 
There is a combat simulation available to get new commanders up to speed with weaponized combat. Would you like to launch the simulation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. My camera... Ooh, my camera almost blocks a little thing. Let's just get our way up. Okay. There we go. Now we're not blocking anything. Okay. All right, so we have a power grid in the top corner. Whenever a building is damaged, it will be reduced. Okay. This is what delivers power to your mechs, so if it is reduced to zero, you lose. Okay, I don't really understand why standing buildings around me would provide power, but okay. I, I clicked you. Go away. Enemy attacks. Every enemy attack is forewarned. Next turn, this one will attack the buildings. Hover over an enemy to see details about its attacks. Ooh, this is your combat mech. It can punch any adjacent tile. Sweet. Select your mech now by clicking on it. Okay. Move your mech here. Okay. Easy enough. Weapon use. Click on a weapon to use it. The number keys will also work as a shortcut. You may not move after you've shot a weapon. Okay. Uh, all right, I guess we'll just do it. Punch this enemy. Okay. Oh, I pushed them. Pushing enemies. Your mech's punch pushed this unit. It will now attack a new location. Pushes can save buildings from enemy attacks, or even make enemies attack each other. Oh my god, this already sounds really fun. Okay. When aiming a weapon or examining an enemy attack, icons show you exactly what will happen. Okay, so we've got pushing. Okay, the pushing icon's pretty obvious. The damage icon, also pretty obvious, just a number. Oh, and push plus damage is just both. Okay, all right. When all of your mechs have used an action or there is nothing left for your units to do, you can end your turn. Okay. Yeah, you hit that mountain, big bug. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Whoa. This is your cannon mech. It shoots a projectile that travels in a straight line until it hits another object. Okay. You're not going to tell me what to do with it? Okay. So uh, maybe I move here. Oh, also, maybe I should uh, see what the enemies are doing. Okay, so this one is going to attack this thing for three damage. How how much health do you have, building? I, I don't know how much health the building has. Okay, well, maybe it just means it'll do like 3% of my grid up here that's 15. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Um... Okay, and it looks like this guy is going to attack um, my mech for one. Okay. So, let me see if I can just shoot this, this dude down here. When aiming a weapon, the orange tiles show where you can shoot. Okay. All right. I, I guess I'll shoot the motherfucker. Oh, he only had one health. Okay. All right. That's nice. Great. Uh, and then I guess I guess I should move and uh, punch. I can't believe it. Indeed. Okay. Oh, you get an undo move option. That that's nice. It's not. It's not highlighted, so I assume I can only undo certain moves before taking um like final actions. Okay. Okay. Five turns remaining. Okay. So we have limited time. Artillery mech. Artillery weapons can shoot over obstacles like mountains, but cannot shoot adjacent tiles. The artillery mech's weapon will only damage units on the center tile, while units on adjacent tiles are pushed. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, 
I've always wanted a uh, like a tactical Star Wars like turn based game, where you could like use the force to like push people into a spot where then like somebody else could like snipe them with a blaster. And uh, this is definitely satisfying those desires, minus the Star Wars part, but the game mechanics seem really cool. Okay, so if I choose you, how far can you hit? I can hit all the way over here without moving. Okay. So... I see. So there's push arrows in all directions, but only two of them are lit up. So only the buildings aren't going to be affected. All right, let's just do it. Sweet. Drowning unit. This unit fell into the water, killing it instantly. Cool. That is nice to know. Okay. Uh, then I guess I can move here. And then we can uh, we'll just punch you to death. Eat a dick, buddy. Um... Hmm. Sure, I'll move this guy over here just so we're more spread out. Okay. Well, yeah, it has actions available, but, like, what am I going to do? There's nothing to shoot. You still have units that can act. They will lose their turn. No, I'll let you ask me again. You can ask me again, but for now, yes. Ooh, buddy. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's attacking us. <laughs> Every mission, you win by surviving until the Vec retreat. Oh, we never win by killing them? Dude. Okay, fine. Bonus objective. Missions also have bonus objectives. Completing these will earn you additional resources after the battle. Ah, oh, kill all enemies. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm about. Okay. Okay, we got four turns to kill everybody. So. Ooh. What would happen if I moved here and then shot down this row? Would I, would I knock my own mech into the water? That seems bad. Okay. Um... Hmm. And I can't move and then attack. So if I attacked with this guy, I'm going to end up pushing that bug into my mech. So instead, what if we move backwards and get out of the way? Hmm. Okay. Then we're going to move here. And I should probably start using the one key. Okay, and now we're going to attack this guy and we'll move him out of the way. Then he's going to hit nothing. Then we'll take this guy and we'll attack with him. Oh, I can only go in a straight line. Um, oh no. Okay, so if I hit if I hit this, then I'm going to knock this bug back uh to right here and then he's going to attack my What are you? You're not artil artillery, that's artillery. What are you called? Uh back up cannon it will attack my cannon well that's too bad um mm, i think that might still be the best thing to do though yeah i'm just gonna do it hmm okay okay i guess uh Oh, I didn't attack with this. I I was totally thinking this guy would get moved as well. Hmm, that's too bad. And I can't attack on a diagonal? No, I can't attack on a diagonal. Okay. Well, that was a poor use of my turn, but that's fine. Hmm. 
Damaged mechs. Your mech will automatically repair all damage after battle. If a mech is reduced to zero health, the pilot dies and the mech is disabled for the rest of that battle. Oh. I mean, that makes sense, but it's kind of sad. Whew. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow, they move a lot. Bro. This is too many threats. Shit. Okay. And, hmm. All right, I still need to learn. So, uh, cannons attack. It will push its target. Whoa. Hmm, the icons down at the bottom, the plus one damage with two little circles and then plus one damage with three circles. Is that implying that at a further range I will do more damage? Or that there's some other kind of thing I can fulfill to, like, upgrade it to do more damage? Hmm, well, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. I can't, I can't target an enemy that's beyond another enemy. Okay, makes sense. And if I target this one, then we're going to push. Hmm, we're going to push this close guy into this flying guy. And that's going, okay, it's saying it's going to damage the flying guy. Will it move him? I, I guess I just need to learn. Let's see what happens. Ah, okay, it hurt this dude additionally. Pushing into objects. Pushing units into things deals one additional damage to both. In this case, the extra damage killed the unit. Hmm. Thanks, tutorial. Cool. Okay. So... Oh, I wish I could move to here. Oh, that's so brutal. Okay. What can I do with my artillery guy? I don't want to move you. I want to attack with you. Can I actually hit you, though? Okay, I can. I can. Okay. I guess we may as well kill you. Sure. It looks really relaxing. It is kind of relaxing. The, uh... The turn-based nature is really nice because then you get to take it at your own pace. And it's just like a little puzzle since you're told what every enemy is going to, to do. Um, it's, it is really interesting. It's not like normal turn-based combat. There's like, there's like no mystery, minus the fact that I don't understand the game well. The only mystery is me not knowing the mechanics, but it's interesting being told what every enemy is going to do, and then it's up to me to accept if I can't, uh, deal with it. And the... There's not really music right now, but just the, like, background ambiance is kind of relaxing. Okay. So now I can move here. And that gets me out of the way from this guy's attack. Uh, and then we'll just smack this fucker into the water. Oh, you don't hear anything? Okay, let me... Let me turn the, uh... Let me turn the game audio up. I think it's just really quiet. It's like the quietest, like, let's see. It's still going to be super quiet. Um, it's just like background noises. I may have to uh, lower it, but yeah, I think I just have the volume. Well, I think it might just be the fact that I have headphones on makes it easier to hear the, um, the very minor backgrounds. It sounds like there's like a highway, like miles away. It's just this like gentle, like rushing noise, almost like, like wind or like cars, but really far away. Okay, cool. Now you can hear it. I, I might need to lower the audio again when I act. Let's see. Let me see how bad it is. Okay. That's a little bit loud. I'm going to lower it a tiny bit. Let me know if it's too loud when they're actually uh, taking their turns. Okay. So we have two turns. 
And I think this is the last guy. So... Okay. Ooh, the question is, can I kill this guy? I think so. Oh my god. Oh, that would hurt both of my units. Okay, okay, let's not do that. Let's take this guy and let's move him right here. Oh no, if I punch this guy, it'll put it into the, the building. Oh my god. Can I undo that? I can undo a move. Okay, great. Great. Wow, what is the smart way to go about doing this? Hmm, okay, how about... Let's punch this guy down here. Oh, he just dies. Okay. Well, I didn't need to think that through. All right. All right. Yeah, they have actions, but there's nobody to kill. Uh, we're all okay. Great. Great, weird city. Congratulations on your first successful mission, Commander. I'm confident in your ability to save the planet after such extensive training. Ah. Extensive indeed. Damaged power grid. The power grid connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in mission will persist. The VEC caused damage before you arrived, but there will be opportunities to restore it. Ooh, okay, okay. Every mission has different potential rewards for completing bonus objectives. You won't be able to do every mission on the island, so choose carefully. Oh my god, okay, okay. We have reactor cores, which we can upgrade our mechs with. Okay, I bet that's how I do more damage with my attacks. We have grid power, which restores your grid power. If your grid power reaches zero, you lose. Oh, rather, grid power restores your power grid, and power grid is what reaches zero. That's weird wording. Corp reputation. Used to purchase items once the island is secure. Missions with more potential rewards will have additional dangers. Oh my, okay. Okay. So, uh, hmm, both of these have the same rewards. Oh, the bonus objective for the uh, star currency is to not kill a specific kind of Vec. Okay. What about down here? Oh, we can uh, we can block them from spawning, and we need to do it three times. Okay, I th I think we'll go with this place. Damn, this is so interesting already. These volatile Vec detonate on death. Drive it away for safety's sake. Don't let it explode. Okay. Are they... There are three little arrows pointing to the Vec spawning. Are those going to be the volatile Vec? Oh, we'll find out. Hmm. One of them looks like it might be volatile. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is the volatile guy. All right. Okay. Oh, cool. I get to choose where I, like, drop in? Oh. Oh, my God. This is fun. <sighs> okay. So what is the smart thing to do? I can't see where they're attacking yet. And I don't... Don't want to kill this guy. Shit. Okay, this whole mission only lasts five turns. So... Uh... Oh my god, I have no idea where to put myself. All right, we'll try right here. Nope. Oh, it has to be one of these. Ah, okay. I should have really noticed the big, the fucking red X. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so this is a forest tile, and it looks like there's a few of those. They light on fire if they're damaged. I don't really know the consequences of that. Um, 
Let's see if I can land in the forest without lighting it on fire. Okay, this one is the cannon mech. Uh, okay, we'll start him down here. And then maybe the artillery guy, he can kind of hang out back here. Okay. The little buildings in there, little... I don't know, voice lines. Okay. Oh boy. Emerging enemies. An enemy unit will emerge here next turn. You can temporarily block enemies from spawning, but it will damage the blocking unit. Oh man. And it's only temporary. It doesn't permanently block them from coming. Okay. Oh my god, spawning is one of my four turns. Your bonus objective in this mission is to not let this vec die. Thank, thank you. I did I did piece that together, game. Shit. Okay, so who's doing what? This vec is attacking. Hmm, we could just come and punch him out of the way. And does my punch just do one damage? It does two damage. Damn it. Okay, that's unfortunate. So... So I want to be using my punch uh, on other enemies. This, uh, this starting position is not great for me. Shit. So my cannon is trapped. Hmm. Ooh, this is so brutal. Okay, let me try something. Oh, I was hoping I could move the artillery over to here so I could knock this guy. Oh my god, is there like a quick restart button? No. How about if I press escape? Abandon timeline! Oh no, no, we're not doing that. Okay. Okay, let's undo that move. Maybe I just accept not getting the bonus mission. That could be okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's accept not getting the bonus mission. Punch this motherfucker. Okay, and now the cannon. We can attack and knock this guy back. Hmm. Okay. Then we could also... We'll move this just one space away. And then fire here. And we'll knock... Uh, we'll knock this dude... Well, I guess that's not really that helpful. Hmm. Back that up. Let's undo this. I need to see something. Can I move two spaces away? Oh, I can attack an empty space. So if I attack this empty space, it'll move this guy into that guy. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and try that. I think ideally it would it would make the it would take this one and and have it occupy that space once we're done with this but I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see though. No, okay. If even if this this one dies, pushing this one into that one uh will still put this one back when it's done. 
Damn, so it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt my civilian building. All right, fine, fine game. Oh my God, it's gone in one hit. This building tile was damaged, so your city power grid was reduced. Your primary goal is to prevent this. <laughs> thanks, thanks game, I know, I'm bad. I'm bad at your game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. All right. This is turning out to be quite difficult. So let's go ahead and kill the volatile Vec. Oh, right. That would make sense that it, ex it it explodes when it dies. And now it has lit the forest on fire. If a unit stands on fire, it will ignite and take damage every turn. Mech is on fire. It will take one damage every turn. Mechs can repair status effects, but cannot attack the same turn that they repair. Damn. Oh, yeah, boy, he's just still on fire. Okay. So, that means he's going to take damage every turn? Can I read about you being on fire? Yeah, it's one damage every turn. Oh, unless I... Okay. What a choice. Choosing between either repairing this mech or attacking with it to prevent this damage. Oh, my God. Oh my god, this game has given me, like, horribly difficult decisions, like, immediately. Fine. Fine. Repair yourself. Done what I can. Proper repairs will take time. That's fine. Okay, and then this situation... Okay, this seems smart. I can move, and then he's gonna attack nothing. And then I can still attack, and I can't attack uh, the close enemy that's trying to attack me, but I could hit this guy. Oh. Oh, no. I could attack this empty space, and it would knock them both away. But it'll hurt me. Oh. Oh, my God. Hmm. Damn, that would prevent damage. Oh my god, this is so hard. Hey, crazy pants. Uh, this is like super hard. It's essentially a puzzle game because you're told it's like tactical turn based combat, but you're told what the enemy is going to do on their next turn, like every single one of them. So then it's up to you to essentially choose what you deal with and what you don't deal with and how you deal with it. And it's complicated enough that I'm making some terrible mistakes. I think. Uh, like right now I have this artillery cannon thing and I can either attack this guy who's got two health and I can't kill him. So if I don't kill him and he's on this space, uh, the, there's an arrow showing that he's going to attack these buildings and like if enough of these buildings die, I just, like, lose the game in total, I think. Like, not just this mission. I think I lose, like, the whole goddamn game. Um, so instead of shooting him, I could shoot next to him, and it'll move him over a space, and then he's still going to attack in the same direction, and he won't hurt the buildings, because he'll be moved into a spot where he won't hit the buildings. But as a consequence of attacking this space uh, in order to move this guy... Uh, I will also be moving this guy into my own mech, which will hurt both of us one point. And I only have two health. Um, yes, I do have the anxious tag. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to see what happens. It seems like a bad idea, but it's interesting. Okay, so I at least killed one of them, but hurt myself. And now the other one is not uh, a threat. It's just going to attack this empty space. Okay. 
Okay, wow. Three turns. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> no. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god, we're fucking like boxed in. Alright. Oof. So I have to move and then attack if I'm going to move and attack. I cannot attack and then move, which is really frustrating. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that is frustrating. Oh, if I move through the fire, I bet I'll get lit on fire again. That's brutal. Uh, I need to find out. I think that's the case. I don't think it's just if I stay there for a turn. But I need to know that. So let's go ahead and do it. No, we didn't light on fire. Okay, so we just can't stay there. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is move here. And I'm going to punch this motherfucker. Then we're going to take that Myra. Myra's the pilot's name? Yeah, Myra Win. Okay, so we're going to have Myra do her artillery attack. And, oh, actually, hold on. They're already not going to be hurting me. So... Hmm. And I can't undo my move because I did this move and then I attacked. Okay. Damn it. So then really my only option would be to attack this guy. I guess that's better than nothing. Oh, hold on. I could also... I could attack here, and it would move this one on top of that spawn tile. And it would block the spawn and damage that guy. Okay. Let's, let's 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 test that. Let's see what happens. Okay, I think I think that's my whole turn. Well, this guy can attack, but he can't really attack anything. So, oof! Oh my god, I am I am just not qualified to be in charge of this little operation. <sighs> yeah, th you don't need to ask again. I'm aware I'm fucking up. Okay, so this gets attacked. Fuck. The grid's almost at zero. Oh my god. And I'm not even going for the damn bonus mission. This thing just... healed them? Whoa. Vec Scion. This enemy Scion provides a passive bonus to all Vec. Killing it removes the bonus. Hold left control while hovering over the Scion to investigate its ability. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it is just that they, they don't recover health, they just have an extra health. Shit. Okay, so let's move forward and get out of the way of that guy's attack. Damn, this thing has two health. That really sucks. Okay. Wow, how do I properly prioritize this? Hmm. Okay. I think here's what we're going to do. We're going to move this guy down here. So now this guy's attack is wasted. 
we're going to attack with the cannon and move this guy. So his attack will be wasted. We'll take this dude and we will punch that guy. So his attack... Oh, he's just dead. Okay. God, the, the mech has such a strong punch. Okay, and now we'll use the artillery. Uh, what? Are you doing anything? You just hang out. You don't do anything. Okay. Then I guess I'll just shoot you. Oh, boy. Okay. Almost at critical. Oh, right, because he was going to attack in that direction, so I made it attack me. Oh, my God. Next time, we can't let the Vec flee. Look. Look, Myra. Look. You want to do my job? You can do my job. I'll just sit in the mech and do what you tell me, all right? Wow. There was a nature reserve within that Vex blast radius. One of the last remaining ferret species is likely extinct now. I'm going to be honest, I could not care less about the ferret. Hmm. I protected 702 civilians. Oh, my cannon got no additional experience. Probably because it did like nothing. Maybe that's kill based? Yeah, the punchy punch mech definitely got more kills than the artillery, but the artillery definitely got a kill. Dang, okay. Okay. Oh my lord. So, uh, second mission and I am already almost defeated. Sounds about right. Okay, what are our next options here? The Historic County. End the battle with less than four mech damage. Oh, that sounds lovely. Protect the emergency batteries. Warning, tidal waves. Okay. Or down here, Safeguard Valley. Defensive shields active. Kill at least seven enemies. Hmm. I feel like I need to take all the opportunities I can to restore the power grid. So I guess I should grab the, all the little lightning bolts I can. Okay, let's do it. An offshore volcano is causing tidal waves along the coast and may help wash away the Vec threatening the area. Okay, president guy. Environment effect. This mission has a special effect that will happen every turn. Select the tile icon to get more information. This tile will become water at the start of the enemy turn. Ooh, okay. Okay. So knocking enemies into those spaces sounds like a primo idea. Okay. Hmm. All right, we'll put the mech guy here. Let's see, we could put the cannon guy back here. And then, honestly, I would like to start there so I could just move along this outer edge and shoot wherever I want, but that's good enough. And then, uh, hmm, let's start, ooh. Okay, so what, what I remember is I get to place my dudes, and then they're going to move. So, like, where do I think they're going to move to? They're just going to come fuck with our shit. They're not just going to stay in that corner. Okay, so then maybe being here will be good, because then if they come after these buildings and I'm here, I can just move and hopefully hit them. Okay, let's do it. Picking up a time pod on sensors. Be sure to follow safety protocols before opening that pod. Time pods contain equipment from the future. Ooh, cool. You can collect it with your mech or just defend it until the end of the battle. Oh, like they'll attack it. Okay, well, my question now is can I walk over it? Great, I can walk over it. 
Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, let's see what we can do. Oh, I wish I could just undo my whole turn. Until I lock it all in. Okay, so I'm going to move this guy here. And he's going to punch this creature back to there. Great. That'll stop it from spawning. And it'll do one extra damage, which should kill that piece of shit. Great. This guy... I think the smart move would be to move here and shoot this dude out of the way of his attack. That building. And then my artillery. Ah, the tidal wave is just slowly encroaching on the whole area. So the artillery guy, I'm probably just going to move out of the way of the fucking sinking ocean. Oh, oh, <laughs> it says the time pot is destroyed if trampled, if damaged or trampled by the enemy. I just read damaged or trampled and was like, oh, I'm about to just fucking squish this thing. Collect with a mech or defend until vec retreat. Okay, I might have to just collect it next turn. Because the, uh, the waves are gonna wash it up. Oh, cool, it's listed as a new uh, bonus objective. This is so cool. All right, from a punch. Okay, and then... Oh, you know what? Let's do that in a different order, perhaps. Oh no, webbed units can't move. Shit, okay, okay. Well, the different order is gonna have to happen in a different, different order. Get the fuck out of here. Great. So now I can move my artillery. Okay. Uh, let me double check. The artillery... If I want to attack with the artillery, it can hit the space after the space next to it. But that won't knock anything back. So... Certainly, I have to move. Hmm. I'd like to grab the fucking time pod, but okay, let's move here. And then we could attack here and just move this guy out of the way. Or we could attack this guy. I think moving him out of the way might be all right. Damn. Three fucking health. Yeah, let's just move him out of the way. Okay. That's the turn. Hmm, right, that guy was still able to shoot me because it's a ranged attack. Two turns left. Hmm. Well, it's, it says the time pod will only be destroyed if it's damaged or trampled by the enemy. I'm guessing it's also going to be destroyed if it just becomes fucking water. But I doubt... I didn't, I didn't think about this till now. I doubt I can pick it up and move. Hmm. Well, that's frustrating. Let's see. Hmm. So I could, I could kill this guy if I use both my cannon mech and my combat mech both close in and kill him. Then I could use my artillery mech. Hmm. Alternatively...
use the combat mech to come over here. Oh god. Then the combat mech is going to just be surrounded by enemies. But I could at least do two damage to this, and it would move him into that, and do another damage to it and kill it. Then we have this one to deal with. Hmm. Damn. Boy, I would love to have some additional movement. <laughs> wow, not being able to move is incredibly annoying. Is there any way I can get rid of the webbing? Without, I think I have to make this move. Damn. Really looks like a nice game. Yeah, it definitely is. Curious to see how it is once you move forward with the difficulties. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a while before I do anything more than, than easy or normal. Oh, but now you got to go. All right, Vass. Have a good one. And uh, en enjoy your editing. All right, what the hell do we do? Let's... Hmm... Right, one of my bonus objectives is less than four mech damage. Shit. Hmm. Okay. So if I killed this thing with two of my three mechs, this one is freed. It could move here and launch an artillery shot. And it would move that guy. So I could at least prevent... Okay, okay, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Just make sure... Oh my god, that moves them into each other. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's so annoying. Hmm. Hmm. What is your movement range? Damn, you can't get past. Damn, dude, fuck me. <laughs> okay, fine. We're just we're just going to fucking do it. Oh my god, because I punched him into the mountain, it kills him. Son of a bitch. I could have done more. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, oh, reset turn. Go back in time to the start of your turn. Power limitations means you can only do this once per battle. Okay. Cool. That's really cool. All right. Let's reevaluate. On animation, yeah. This game is a is such a good, like, I feel like a good example of using everything you have. Like, the animations are good, the sound effects are good, but everything is, like, simple. These little buildings look kind of dumb. Like, this isn't a really good approximation of a town. There's no roads. It makes no sense. But it still looks cute, and it's understandable. And yeah, that back-in-time animation was really cool. Minimalist, but well executed. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy to me that, like, people will give this kind of a game a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, and yet people are still trying to make games that look like Call of Duty. Like, just make a cool... Make a cool game. Who cares if it looks amazingly real? You'll always fall short of real. You're just gonna spend a bunch of fucking money? Seems like such a waste. Okay, so now we have more we can do. I need to figure out what the best option would be. So... Hmm... So I think the best thing to do is to move like this, and then I can attack here, 
and it will move it will move this guy down here shit okay I forgot this bug attacks with like infinite range hmm I don't know if I want to step my my cannon into the range of that. I've only got two turns, and I haven't taken that much damage. Fine. Okay. That'll be the turn. Odd destroyed. Hey, you lied. You lied to me. You said it would only be destroyed if the enemy attacked or trampled it. But I, I did absolutely uh, see that coming. I, I accept. The time pod in this tile has been destroyed. Time pods are destroyed by taking damage or by any enemy standing on it. Or by having the tile consumed with water. You're like literally explaining to me things that don't include the thing that just fucking happened. Okay, well, that's all right. Grid's about to fail. Protect the buildings. Is it though? Like they haven't taken a single building. That's not fair. I did, I did good. I did what you told me. Fuck. Oh, this motherfucker is flying. So it's not going to get taken over by the water. Oh, that's brutal. God, that extra health is so bullshit. Hmm. Damn it. Oh, this is brutal. Okay, so we only have one turn left. So... The emergency batteries are protected. I'm probably going to end with less than two damage. I've just got to be careful about it. Okay. I would like to know... I think I'm just going to do this. Because I would like to see... Oh, no, then I can't move out of the way. Okay. So what do we do here? Hmm, could I kill that thing? I think I can. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll move back here. We'll cannon this bitch. We'll move our mech. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we'll let the mech be the third damage point that we're gonna move the mech to here. Punch that to death. Then... We need to move the artillery out of the way. We can move it to right there. And then we can fire the artillery right here. And we'll move this guy down to here. Okay. Okay. Fine. Whoa. Oh, breached. Oh, no. Okay, dude, they're running away. The vac are running. It is indeed over. Dang. I could have protected the pod. I didn't think far enough ahead of time. There's a lot of unused space in this region's nature preserves. We'll be moving refugees here now the vec are gone. Well, okay. Okay. So... Did the power grid go up? Well, because I, I, I did the thing. I got I got the bonus. It might have been it too, and then I got a bonus bonus bar. Fuck. Okay, so I think I want to come back here. Because then I can get another uh, energy symbol. Yeah, let's do it. 
old earth proximity mines are buried in this region for, from hundreds of years ago. We were slowly disarming them, but then we thought, why not use them against the Vec? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. What do you do? Oh, any unit that stops on this space will trigger the mine and be killed. Okay. I will try not to do that. Okay, so my bonus mission is to protect the coal plant. Oh, you're the coal plant, clearly. Okay. Block Vex spawning three times. Okay. Let's see. I guess I'll put this guy here. Put the cannon here, even though they're for sure going to just move. And then uh, I guess the artillery can be right here. Sure. That puts me within range of a lot of, uh, a lot of squares. Dad, look. Oh, my God. One of the, one of the buildings said, Dad, look. If the Vec think they're wearing me down, they've got another thing coming. Uh, I was busy reading that line. I think a bunch of the Vec just blew themselves up. Oh, except this one. Okay. So, uh, we need to stop the Vec from spawning in. Step one, let's free our fucking artillery. Never get tired of seeing that. Okay. Oh, we're blocked. Okay, so nobody can get to the spawn zones. Brutal. Well, I guess... We might as well kill this stupid thing. Maybe next turn we can block the spawn zones. That's one for you! Well... Now it's two. Vex surfacing. Okay. Rift walkers, move to block the Vec. Don't let any of them surface. Easier said than done, dude. They're literally inside fire right now. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. You got three health. Oh my god, this is. This is so not a smart thing to do, but. God. We'll just move on to the fire. Hmm. Punchy punch into the mines, buddy. Stay dead. Oh my god. Uh, that's fun. Okay. This is a horrible idea. Oh, I think actually this is this is worse than I'm thinking because this bug is going to attack and the fire damage will yep. Oh right, that one only has two health. Okay. 
Let's, uh... Right, and it's after the turn, so I can't reset. Oh my god. I just murdered my whole team. Okay, but... We might be able to complete the mission. <laughs> Dispatching rescue crews to see if any civilians can be helped. This vet's not going anywhere. Okay, I blocked. I blocked six. Sweet. Okay. Okay, this is the last turn. I guess we'll punch you into, uh... Into the space with the dead mech. And you're dead. Fuck. Okay, Ralph's the only one that came out. We won this battle, but the war continues. Oh my god, I can't believe I killed... Fuck, it was Zoe and Myra? Or was it Maya? Well, she can't be that important if I don't know her name. With the Vec gone and some proximity mines cleared, we can establish a permanent military presence in the region. Myra. Myra Wynn died after taking severe damage in the battle against the creatures. Zoe Kirby died after taking severe damage in the battle against the creatures. <laughs> and Ralph got promoted. Uh, ooh, piloted mech movement increased by one. Ooh, corporate, corporation reputation. As you secure regions and complete bonus objectives, your reputation with the local corporation will increase. You can spend reputation on supplies at the end of the island. I, islands don't have an end. You mean at the end of the like campaign of rescuing the island? Okay. Uh, I do, do I get new pilots? I get new pilots now? Hopefully. Sorry, I let your buddies die, Ralph. Oops. Okay. Ooh, defend satellite launches. That sounds cool. Ooh, destroy the dam. And take less than three grid damage. Or kill at least seven enemies. Hmm. So clearly these missions are harder. Let's try to destroy the dam. Also, I need to take not that much grid damage because, like, clearly we're fucked. You lose if this reaches zero. Yeah, okay. This old earth dam is used to generate power. But has little now, has little use now. Destroying it will let the river reclaim the land and delay the back. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. Fucking do it. What's your deal, Dam? You have two health, so I could just punch you open. Um. But. But, like, where's the water going to go? Huh. It seems really unfair that I can't know that. Like, you don't have any estimates? You guys don't don't have, like, a floodplain mapping if the dam blew up naturally? Is it is it going to cover all here? Is it just going to cover here? Fuck, man. That's fucked. Fuck. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess... I guess Mech Boy can hang out over here. No, right here. Okay. So... Uh, what could we do? We keep this... If I put this guy here, I could move here and then shoot the damn one. And then I could put the artillery down, move it to here, and shoot the dam as well. Alright, whatever. 
probably gonna have to, uh... Actually, I don't even know the mechanics of the, like, ro if there's a roguelite aspect to this. Am I just gonna lose and then restart from... from... completely new file? Warning, Vec approaching surface. Oh! Oh no, they're AI units! Oh, Ralph, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I killed your friends. Oh boy. Oh, this asshole's in my way now. Shit. Hmm. Doubt, I can't like shoot past. Yeah, I can't shoot past my own units. Oh no. Hmm. Okay, so we, do we just knock him back and then punch him to death? Not a bad idea, I guess. Wait, hold on. What's this guy doing? What are, what are you doing? You're just not attacking. Taking a break. Relaxing. Oh, this dude's attacking all the... Oh, fuck. Could, I don't know. Could this guy's carcass, like, block that attack? Lame. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Oh, wait. We could nudge him. We could nudge him out of the way. Or we go for the damn break. At least start it. Fine, we'll start it. Oh my god, I'm so afraid I'm gonna kill all my own units if I break the dam. Okay. Yeah. Warning, mobility compromised. Okay. So, now I can at least test. If I punch you... Actually, shit. No, we should, we should see what happens when I do this. Mechs cannot use their weapons when standing in water. You can use undo move if you like to reposition it. That, that is absolutely not how a dam exploding would work. I would like to fucking point out. Um... That's asinine. This area is completely flat. It would have spread out. Fucker. Okay, let's reset the turn because that's really kind of a waste. It did kill two of them. Hmm. Okay, so we clearly don't want to break the dam right now. Hmm. Let's see. 
Could knock this guy to stop a spawn. That's a pretty good option. Darn. And then we can also... We could almost stop a spawn here, but this guy's just gonna die. Oh, and this guy's attacking. So this guy's going to kill his own homie if I do nothing. Hmm. You know, oh, he attacks first. Okay, okay. Let's undo that move. Hold on, hold on. Check that attack order again. Okay, so then, oh. Gotta move the mouse off of it, buddy. So this guy's just gonna kill this dude. So I don't even have to worry about his attack. Nice, and then this spawn is blocked. What else valuable could we do? Oh, if I attack this, it's gonna break the freaking dam. Hmm. I mean, I guess that could be okay. That would give them very few areas to actually attack this side. And it'll, well, it'll just eliminate this guy. Fine. Back environmental barrier online. Ah, oh, like this is an environmental barrier. Okay, sure. Oh, you killed your friend. Back tactical efficiency. Suboptimal. Whoa! Shit. Okay, two turns. Two turns. Waterlogged. Okay. So I think we need to take this turn by turn. What can we do? I can't... Oh, if I could get over there, that would be sweet. Hmm. So we just need to protect the grid. How do I achieve my goals? Maybe by standing in fire. Ooh. Okay. So if we move here, I can undo that, but I guess I need to walk through can move this guy over to here. We're going to take a damage blocking the spawn, but that's sweet. That's fine. Still got three health. Then we use this guy to punch this bug into the motherfucking water, and it's done. Oh. Maybe we... Ooh, do we do this in a different way? We move this guy to here, and then he can shoot this Vec out of the way. To save the grid for another turn. Yep. Punch time. Okay. I'm sorry you have to sit in the fire, cannon AI. At least you're a robot. <clears throat> okay, time to test another thing. We can move the artillery here and knock this Vec out of the way. It's okay. Sweet. Yeah, sorry. You gotta be on fire. Hmm. Activating ground stabilizers. Oh, haha, right, because the thing's trying to come up under you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, last turn. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. What the fuck do we do? If I stay in the fire, we can just shoot this guy out of the way. 
but then I can't take any other damage. Hmm. What could we do with this artillery mech? I'm thinking... God, I hate not being able to undo multiple parts. We have to do only two damage to that guy. Okay, we can kill each of these. Okay. Okay, I think I see it, and we'll just let this damage happen. Okay, we do the big fist punch. Nope, we needed to do that in the other order, but I think... I think it still won't matter. Yeah, we can knock this dude into the water. Great. Vex submerged. Secondary update. Vex life signs have ceased. Yeah, thank you. That's how that works. Okay. All right, we're going to get both bonus options done. Great. Archive construction at work. Our buildings may be old, but they're sturdy. Grid defense. This building resisted damage. The chance of a building resisting damage is shown to the right of your power grid. Oh, that's what that means. Okay. Well, that's nice. The Vec may run, but they won't get far. Wow, the AI can't get experience. Vec are not easily defeated, yet you put them down with flying colors. My compliments to the pilots. Oh, yeah, the pilots. Ooh, buddy. Ooh. Sorry, Ralph. Hey, but we did we did both the things. Seismic activity. Hive leader, drawn out by your offensive against the Vec, the hive leader is assaulting the corporate HQ. Right. Okay. So now these areas are marked as like, oh god, just, just destroyed by the Vec. Not like you didn't get to them. Like, they're gone. Okay. <clears throat> Destroy the Firefly Leader. Okay, and protect the Corporate Tower. Okay. Some kind of Vec abomination is approaching our headquarters. Whatever it is, it must be stopped. Okay. Oh, the big boy's already out. Sweet. What a little badass. All right. Okay. And this game is really fun, but it is uh, so fucking hard. So bad at it. Ah, so. We just need to protect the tower and kill the leader. And I, I would like Ralph to not die. It feels bad that Ralph died. Hmm. Hmm. Oof. Just got a call from my doctor's office. Specifically asked them to call me before a certain time and after a certain time. What a bunch of idiots. I guess that's too hard for them to figure out. Oh, well. I'll deal with it later. Ah. So. Where I don't know where to put my damn mech, dude. Okay, well, let's think about this. The It's really the other ones that... Like, this mech needs to be close to things to punch it. So... Ice turns to water when destroyed. It must be hit twice. Okay. Interesting that they won't let me start in water. Oh, I can start in this water, right? It's just too far outside the landing zone. Okay. Okay, we'll start our mech here. Let's see. 
This guy needs a straight line of sight. So maybe having him roll along this edge would be nice. Okay. And then the mortar... I suppose can just roll along this outer edge. Fire. Oh man, okay. <clears throat> god. Oh my god. It's insane that these fucking fights take essentially four turns. Five turn stacks counting our our initial landing. But holy shit. When confronted with new abilities. Be sure to learn about their abilities. Oh my god, no. When confronted with new enemies, be sure to learn about their abilities. Hold down left control while hovering over units to examine them. <clears throat> massive, massive units can walk in water, but water will prevent attacking or repairing. Okay, so just like my max. That's interesting. Hive leader. These are the most powerful Vec, immune to water. They can be more challenging to kill. Burning Thorax. They launch goo projectiles in two directions. And they do four damage! Ooh, buddy! <clears throat> okay. So we clearly have no choice but to get him out of the way. And that is really frustrating because... because he attacks in two directions, but hold on. If I walk over here and smack him onto the ice, he'll kill this guy. Holy shit! Okay, that's gotta happen. <clears throat> that has just got to happen. Okay, and it's the only one with ranged attacks. So... Well, let's figure this out. Bit by bit. We come back here. We punch you. You're massive, but I can still move you, baby. All right. So now he's going to just hit his friend for four and also topple this mountain. All right. So then I could also, I could just attack and knock this guy back. Okay, that seems good enough for now. <clears throat> Damn, I can't undo that. I probably should have backed up one, just so I'm out of range of this guy in case it decided to attack me, but I kind of doubt that. Hmm. Hmm. This game has such weird background noises. Okay. So with this artillery, I guess the best thing I could do is just start hurting this guy. Just hit him for one. <clears throat> God, we could kill him next turn. Okay. Oh, that hurts the ice. Shit. We don't don't want don't we don't want to break the ice. We want this guy to be able to kill his buddy. Okay. Well, I, it's not going to break this turn, so. Stupid fucking bugs. Go, boy. So, what do we do here? This guy's a problem. I can kill him. Hmm. I 
think we just kill the big guy. If I move over to here, then we punch him back and then we shoot him. And then we have this artillery that we can deal, we can use to deal with uh, mm, one of these two. Ooh, we could knock this guy over and he could shoot his friend. Or we could just kill this guy. Okay, so let's let's do this piece by piece. Punch this dude backwards. Move this guy over here. Shoot the big bad, okay. Retrieving compliment. Jolly good show. Thanks, robot. Now, we could just slide over to here. Oh, that fucker's gonna hit that thing. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. I'm gonna, I'm about to take two hits and I can only stop one of them, I guess. Ooh. Okay. I think the best thing I can do, if I move here, I can launch this guy into the water and he goes from full health to dead. And this guy's only got one health, so I can deal with him later. I think that's my best move. Vex submerged. Vex life signs have ceased. Okay, that's the turn. How many more timelines must fall before we drive them back? Oh my god. If you truly can go back in time, do it now. Timeline lost. Select one pilot to continue the fight in your next timeline. So, because of my overall power grid fell too low. I mean, Ralph's the only guy alive. Okay, so then I guess the roguelite nature of this is every time I go back into the breach, I'm in a different timeline and I can save one time traveler. So then really, I guess what I did wasn't... Well, it was bad because I lost. But it wasn't uh, letting the other two pilots die didn't really matter because I could only save Ralph. Oh, he gets he gets one bonus mech move, so that's pretty sweet. Oh. Find new pilots while playing to unlock them. Whoa, this guy's like an insect dude. Oh shit. Okay. Reduced enemy spawn rates. Yeah, I might need that, but no, we'll, we'll stick with normal. These corporate islands are Vex breeding ground. Wipe them out here, we save the world. Wow. Aw, oh, so I bet if I beat this island, then I get the other islands. Well, I'd probably get one more. The bad news is the Vec are overrunning our island, putting refugees and historical artifacts at risk. The good news is we have old Earth military artifacts that can help in the fight. Okay, uh, it's the same map, just a different order. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can handle the tidal waves better. An offshore volcano is causing tidal waves along the coast and may help wash away the vec threatening the area. Ugh. Fucking scion. Okay. You have two health. Oh, but you're gonna move. I was thinking I would just run over and punch the bitch. Hmm...
Okay, we'll start you in the middle. We'll start you out here, maybe. And we'll start you way back here because you can just run up and down this and hit anybody anywhere. Ooh, maybe right here? Gotta be within the lines, bud. All right. The mechs are here. We're rescued. Ooh, yeah, maybe not. Hostiles detected. Cinnabar. Cool. I'll be watching. I'm busy wondering who my pilots are. Cinnabar is a cool name for a weird robot pilot. Oh. Liam Lee. Liam Lee, probably. Probably that's a name. Okay. Oh. Ralph gets two bonus experience per kill. Previous timelines one, yeah. Oh. Okay. So, clearly, uh, when I played before, I was thinking that damaging these power, the power grid was only, um, like it only mattered within each mission. But clearly it's an overall reading that takes place across all the missions, and every time they damage one, I get closer to death overall, not just within this mission. That should have been obvious. Especially the last mission where both of those things, death within the mission and death overall, were perfectly overlapped. Okay. So... What is the best thing we can do here? God, they have a lot of health. I could just punch this thing and kill it right now. Then they would only have three health. But the main problem is... Hmm. I need to get this one out of the way. I need to protect this. So we have a few ways we could do that. We could move our artillery here. Shoot this square, move this guy up. Oh, that, that just uh, moves the problem. I almost need to shoot here and move it down, but then I need this spot clear. Okay. That seems like a good idea. Hmm. How far can I move? One, two, three, four spaces. So if I were to move things, one, two, three, I can't really get into a good position to punch this guy down. So it's, this artillery's got to do it or nobody can do it. Or we kill the thing. So what would that look like? Mm, using this artillery to punch this and kill this, they would each then have only three health. No, that's not really an option. Uh, just to double check, if I attack one of these, it does hurt them. Okay, that's not very smart. Hmm. We move this mech here. We kill this thing. We move this cannon here. We shoot this guy back onto this space. Then we use this artillery to hit here, move this. Okay, that's that's the fucking answer. I can't move to there. Oh my god. Because it's blocked. Are you fucking kidding me? 
あーあーあーああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Let's do that. Oh, I can't. I can't. It looked like I could, but I'm fucking. Okay. We're moving you out of the way no matter what, bud. Oh, that's so frustrating. Dude. Dude. You can't attack diagonally. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Okay. All right. So we want to hit you backwards. And then we're going to push you down. Have fun shooting your friend. God, I can't. I can't even. I can't believe that. Get away from the windows! Oh my god. Oh my god, double threatened. Oh my god, I need another movement again. This is a fucking curse. just come kill this damn thing that reduces their health but doesn't really help me right now I could just knock this guy into the water hmm damn I might just have to let these happen like the coal plant okay Oh my god, knock back. Bro. Or movement is uh lame. Okay. Rethink this. Do things in a different order, maybe. We put this here. Move the artillery here. Smack there with an artillery shell. Knock this fucker into the water. Hmm. But then that's gonna knock this guy here. So, first, we shoot this guy over to here. Then we hit this spot. This guy takes another damage. This guy gets knocked into the water. Ooh, alternatively, hitting this spot knocks this guy into the water, and this guy would get moved here. So if I just get out of the way, ooh, ooh, okay, yep, yep, yep. Let's let's try this out. Okay, this guy moves to here. He knocks this thing back. Dang. Dang. Oh my god. 
I was hoping I could move this guy over to here, and then his attack would hurt that thing. Which can happen. But only if I don't damage this thing. I could knock them into each other. Okay. Yep, that's the thing to do. Holy shit, this game is so cool. Get fucked. Okay. Absolutely the best way to do that. So he's gonna kill this thing. Great. I need to get over here to start fucking shit up. Fine. Damn. Oh, man. Losing two power grid points is so brutal. The Vec will pay for that. What's that shadow? Ooh, yeah, get away from the windows, dude. Oh, I can't move. That's bad. Oh, damn. Victory in one turn. Were there even seven enemies to kill then? I guess the one that I blocked from coming up. Shit. Well, that's not happening. Hello, Mojito. Would you like some snacks? Eh? Eh? They're right here. You want the snacks? They're right there. Hmm. Okay, so at this point, like, all we care about is reducing... Reducing the damage done. So... Uh, I could use this mech to kill this guy. It'll hurt that guy by one, but that's not really a goal. I just need to get him moved. Um... So use this mech, kill this guy. Use this artillery, move it to here, fire a shell here, knock this guy into the water. I mean, or I could just take the damage, I guess. We get repaired after the fight. Dang. Okay, so I, I know I need to kill this guy. Let's just do that. And then this can move... I guess we just need to move here. And I'll knock myself into the water. Ah! I don't know. Let's just shoot that guy for the hell of it. Fine. Damn, we didn't kill seven enemies. Shit. Pilot Carlson's tactical efficiency compromised. He's fine. Also, you're... You're in the water too, bud. You let some of the Vex scurry back to their underground hives. Unfortunately, they'll emerge again soon and attack another region. Hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I'm bad at this game. I don't know what to tell you. More health. Holy shit. Okay. All right. I might fail this time, but... The next time I will I will have quite the advantage. Cool, we have air wait. That's a warning. Like that's bad. Like they have air support? Oh boy. Oh boy. 
So I, I really think I need to focus more on winning and surviving than on getting star currency. Okay, so this is take very little damage and protect. We'll try that. Shoot. Okay, yeah, 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 fine. We'll just try to do this quick. All right. Let's place here. Place our ranged guy over in the back and we'll put our, put our artillery? Actually, no. Oh, we can just like swap them. That's actually, uh... Yeah, I think that's what I want. Air support. Bombs will be dropped on the marked spaces. Oh. Shoot. Ralph, I didn't see what you said. Wait, you're gonna die, bud. Okay. That's frustrating. All right. So let's see what we can do. You're attacking that. So we could use the artillery. I'm gonna knock you one out of the way, but then I gotta move. Hmm. Hmm. so difficult to deal with. Okay. So I've just got to be smart about air support. When does the kill... I don't know when the kill happens. Shoot. Oh. Oh, I should have just looked here. The environment first. Okay, cool. So all all of them are going to die. Great. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, whatever have your bonus health. Oh, it's this constant little spot. Okay. Oh my god, this is awesome. All right. Can you Oh, you can't Oh, oh, oh. Get the fuck in the water, buddy. Oh my god. Get into the death zone. Ah, right, because I can't attack right next to me. So I could move here. Yep. And move you into the death zone. Sweet. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, it's changed now. Okay. Okay. There's not a whole lot I can do here. Damn, that death zone is dangerous. Okay. Hmm, okay, so no matter what, how much health do you have? Oh, you have two, so we can kill you. And we can get your friend out of the way. 
so uh, we hit this. Oh no, we okay. Okay. How do I do this? How do I do this? I need to kill you, so I need to punch you. It would be nice to move you out of the way. Oh, but we're not in a danger zone. Okay, so we, we do just... We shoot you, and that moves your friend. Oh, it moved me. That's fine, though, because I can just move. Kill you. Great, and then you, we just... You just hide. That's fine. You just hide. Okay. <laughs> well, nobody died, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. So after they move, we're on our last turn. <clears throat> okay. Can we kill you? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Ah, oh, let's see. So we can move? No. No, because we're still in your range. So we should move to right there and knock you out of the way. Then we can move. We move here, but then we want to punch you. And then we want to hit you. Nice. Vec has been deleted. Credit for deletion, Pilot Lee. Th thanks, Cinnabar. I guess you're like a, you're also an AI, but you're better for some reason. You have personality. Great. Okay, I think, God, this is like, I actually did a good job. If I have pilot coming in, I'd get clear now. Yeah, we're all, we're all clear. We got the Vec running scared now. Wow, that was... I did a good job. I think I did a good job. All it took was a free uh, five spaces where I could get free kills. Ooh, all thousand civilians protected. Sweet. Your mechs almost look untouched. The relief. It'll allow us to assign our repair crews to reinforce the refugee shelters instead. Wow, that was like perfectly played. Holy shit. Okay, so unfortunately my two hours are up. So I think I just have to click save and quit. Oh, oh, and we just we're just fucking out. Okay, well, cool. Then I gotta eat and then be right back. And it's time for some fucking Minesweeper.